Carlos Ramirez, owner of NBS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. Um, I didn't know that doing six monines as woofers inside the bag, like two six monines facing the wheel in each bag was such a huge thing. Um, and I've gotten so many phone calls after the bike that we recently delivered that we did the wine rescue on that had the woofers in the bag. I didn't realize this was such a huge thing in other states. Uh, I've gotten a ton of phone calls from Atlanta, Georgia, ton of phone calls from California. It's apparently a big thing. It's what they do out there. Um, shops doing 10, 20 bikes at a time with six mines in the bags as providing the base. Um, I didn't realize it was such a huge thing. So I was on the phone with Tim Nagy. We were kicking ideas back and forth. And him and Troy Milliner, Troy came up with a design uh, that he's been using for years. It's a really nice design. It's made out of wood. So it's a template to mount the woofers in the bag facing the wheel. And then he reached out to Tim Nagy to prototype it and convert it into plastic, mass produce it. So they came up with an awesome design together. The product works really well. So Tim sent it over to me to look it over and give it a try. It's a really nice design. It's super simple. I wish I'd thought of it. Could have saved me a ton of time. So instead of cutting the woofers directly into the bag and then fighting with the contour of the bag, just like we do with the tens, um, it's a solid plate. And then the six mines mount to the back of the plate on the inside of the bag. So my favorite thing about it is you no longer forced to copy the oval shape onto the outside of the bag. You can do it American hard bag style and cut a rectangle or a diamond or a triangle as the grill mesh area, as the open area that the air passes through. And then you have your solid backside. So um, it's pretty, pretty ingenious. I like the fact that you can add a grill and cover the inside with grill cloth or some sort of material so that the music passes through but no water or dirt gets inside, but you're not you're not forced to make a, a round hole or an oval hole on the outside of the bag. Um, so the cut to the bag could be symmetrical. It's just, it's, it's a nicer look and it's a more solid product. Then on top of that, the way the product mounts, it actually reinforces the bag and stiffens the bag. So you have the woofers mounted to the piece instead of the woofers being mounted to the bag itself. And then you bolt the piece in place and the piece braces the bag, makes it more solid. Um, the six mine in the bag is definitely not a thing here in New Jersey. Like uh, New Jersey, New York, we do eight inch or six mine nine in the lid. But in the bags, it's eights, tens, twelves, double eights, double tens. Um, can't believe it's such a... This bike sounded really good, but um, it really... I didn't feel it was worth the effort with all the labor to cut the six mines into the side of the bag. But with this kit, it makes a lot more sense. And it's definitely something I'm going to be offering because the kit is only $200 retail. So you're talking less than two hours of labor. And it saves me a ton of time because I can't fabricate in under two hours. And it gives me a good quality product. It's repeatable. It comes with the mounting board. It comes with the six by nine adapter plates. And the way Tim designed the 6x9 adapter plates is it fits a oversized 6x9 and a slipper 6x9 by just flipping the plate over. So instead of having to make two ver two versions of the 6x9 plate, there's only one. Really, really smart on Tim's part. That way you only had to tool it one time. So I see value in it. I'm definitely going to offer it to my clients. Um, I like the fact that it can be trimmed out to match the inside of the bags. And it's more solid this way. So it means you're going to have more output and less bag rattle. Uh, I think it's a good design. Troy Milliner came out with a genius idea. And Tim Nagy knocked it out of the park. So let me show you some pictures. Let me show you how this kit works. Installing 6 by 9s in a bag is something we normally don't do because the time and effort that it takes to fabricate the rings, it's a lot easier to fabricate a round ring than it is to fabricate oval rings and then figure out the mounting point and the speakers and the clearance. So it was never really worth it for us. Now it's something that we can look at, especially considering we just delivered that bike with the four six mines, two in each bag. So with a kit like this, it makes it just as easy as installing eights and tens in the bags. So for that client that has to have four six mines, two in each bag, this kit is a godsend. 
So the kit is made out of plastic. And the nice part about it is it fits almost every six mine on the market. The only one we had an issue with was the Ground Zero 7x10. And that's because in the height of the bag, to get two to fit, the way this is designed, Tim left room in the center to mount an amplifier. So if you do the 7x10s, you'd have to angle them and then you'd have to go with a smaller amp in the center. So we've tried the older 800.4 Evo, it fits. The 1200.4 fits, the 1200.2 Evo X fits, and obviously the 800 fits. So if you very strategic on how you mount the amplifiers, you can actually get two Sound Digital 800s to fit if you stagger the speakers correctly. So we tried every six mine we had in house. The Hertz Malay Pro fit. Obviously the Hertz 690 Neos fit because they're smaller. Um, the Mats PA 690 and 690 CX's fit. The PRV 6 by 9 fit. Both Diamond Audio 6 by 9s fit. So um, the kit is awesome. Um, the spacers that are necessary come included in the kit. It took something that would normally take a day or two to fabricate and get working down to a couple hour install if you use this kit because now it's already pre-cut, drops into the bag. You could drill holes from the outside of the bag to mount it. You can bond it in place that we have no screw holes on the outside of the bag. Literally works with every six mine on the market. And then it gives you a spot to mount your amplifier to. So that's a major issue when doing amplifiers in the bag. If you Velcro the amp, a lot of times the Velcro falls off and the amp ends up sliding around the bag and getting damaged. So this gives you a spot to mount your two six mines in each bag and an amplifier in each bag if you want. So uh, check out how well this thing is put together. So we have it, we have it mocked up with some Hertz Millet Pros. There's the spacer. And it gives you plenty of space for the older Sound Digital 800. The new Evo X800. Even the 1200.2 or the 1200.4 Evo X fit with plenty of room. So everything can be mounted solid, still leaves you some space in the bag. Great, great, great design. We are now gonna start offering six by nines for mid base in the bag because this kit just makes sense. Matt six by nine fits no problem. It's just that easy to drop a high quality six by nine in a high quality kit. Drop in the amplifier, screw everything in place and wire it up. Great job by Tim Nagy. It's not really a big thing here in New Jersey, but in the South, it's apparently huge doing four six by nines on these Harley Davidsons, whether it's two in each saddlebag lid or two in each saddlebag facing in. I even had a bike come in that had two in each saddlebag facing in and two on each lid. <laughs> so uh, it's in order to fabricate it and make it fit and work, it's so much labor that we did to us, it wasn't really worth it. So we would just go with eights and tens. With this kit, I think it makes more sense now. So now it's an option that I can offer and make sound really good without a ton of fabrication. Before the amount of fabrication that it took to make everything fit and work, you were just better off at running a single 10. Now it's actually an option that gives the customer back space, gives them excellent mid base, um, gives them a solution for mounting the amplifier and requires minimal modification of the bag. So you don't have to cut a giant eight inch hole. You don't have to cut a giant 10 inch hole. You could actually make rectangles or, or squares that line up with the shape of the bag. So it doesn't look terrible after the bag's modified. Um, as long as it doesn't obstruct the airflow from the six mount irons, it's, it's a good solution. So uh, let me show you what the kit looks like installed.
So doing it this way is the hard way because you have to make a spacer for here and then a contoured spacer for here that starts thicker and then it tapers down and then it tapers back out. So doing it that way is a real pain in the butt. Time consuming, requires a bunch of special tools. Doing it Tim Nagy's way is a lot easier. Doing it this way is way easier. So the kit comes with uh, six mine adapters that you bolt on here. And the way Tim built the adapters, you can flip them. So if you have a large flange six mine iron, use one side. If you have a small flange six mine, it's the other. So we've tested them with the Hertz Neo 690s and we've tested them with the Diamond Audio six mines and it clears both. So doing it this way, you can either nut and bolt it from the outside of the bag here to secure it, run a bead of silicone all the way around before you bolt it in place. Or you can run bolts or you could drill it and self tap you could drill it and tap it and run bolts along the outside here, 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 here. But um, if you really want no visible bolts on the bag, I would bolt it from underneath. And then one large quarter 20 here, the shock tower, or you could just bond it in. There are so many different options. This thing fits amazing. Tim did a great job. It's all waterproof, solid plastic. Drops right in. It matches the bag line perfectly. So now something that used to take hours or days, you can do start to finish in probably two hours. So this is what the kit looks like. Super high quality, very smartly put together. And it makes a difficult job super easy now.